love. Mother's love, Dwar Kesh Ravachandra. Mother, Matka, Tai, Annai, Mer, Mom, Mama. It's the mother's uh, pronounced in different languages. Why is this word so special? What makes this word so special in this world? For that, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity as to you Toastmasters to share the goodness the benefits or the love that we have that we got from our mother and to share with you guys um, all right uh, mother it's the first word that a child tries to say why is it because she was in her mother's womb for eight or nine months or is it because she teaches the baby the basic skills to survive or acts, makes her as a stepping stone for her future? Or is it because she walks 25 miles on a desert without a proper footwear just to get some water, food for a baby to stay away from hunger? Why is that? Yes, it's everything. All these things that her mother does for a baby to make her feel safe and happy. So that's mother's love. And I was reading an article when I was doing the research on oh, what mother's love is. And I came, on, came across this author saying that, hey, there is pain that is worse than a childbirth. For example, having a kidney stone is really painful than a child's birth. Break an ankle, then you'll know. Or have a fractured bone on your ribs, you'll feel how bad it is. It's worse than mother's love. I would, I would, if I had a chance to meet the author, I would definitely disagree with him. It's because whatever the pain that I said right now is involuntary. You don't have to, it happens to you, it's an accident. But a childbirth, a mother knows exactly like eight to nine months from now, I'm gonna have the worst pain of my life. And she doesn't know how bad the pain is going to be. And uh, that's not the worst part. She's putting her life in danger. So that's the greatest and the toughest pain that I would say forever for the mother. And for that, I appreciate mothers. Anyways, this is an example I want to give to you guys. There's a lady called Rosa. She's 104 years old. She has a daughter named Maria Garcia. She's 87 years old and she suffers from dementia. She doesn't remember who she is, but her mother takes care of her daughter even at the age of 104. She, her daughter doesn't even realize that's her mother but she's there for her. So it's not about the age. Even if it's a child, it's not just the child she takes care of her. So that's the testament of mother's love. And you all know, like, uh, my family, parents, we have, they are staying uh, far away from me, and uh, it is really hard for me to sometimes to get through things because I don't get to meet them and spend time when I have to spend time with them. So one of my friends asked me that, hey, uh, I'm going to have a birthday celebration. What should I be doing? And I said to her, if I were you, I would take my, I would buy the best gift for my mother, take both my parents out on the day and spend the day with them and do whatever they wanted to do that day. They like to do it. And then I'll bring them back home, cook them the best food that they like to have from my own hands, from the scratch. But open a really nice bottle of wine, have a good dinner when the smell of my aromatic food flows through the room. And, uh, say, tell her that, thank you mom, thank you for bringing me to this world. Because it, it's my birthday, it's not about my birthday. It's, it's about her. It's about her who brought me to this world. She remembers the day, how painful it was to bring me to this world. So, I would by her, I would say thank you mom. Because that's the only day in her life that she smiled when you are crying. That's the only day in her life, the whole life. She would be smiling when you are crying. That's your birthday. All right, so we have talked about my story. So here's a real example. So would any one of you be ready to make a fool of yourself 
in front of for, for another person, stop uh, in a concert, stop the whole concert, and make the people who paid so much money to be there at the concert and watch a show, uh, watch a guy perform. And would you like to stop the whole crowd and say that, say to the the guy, hey, this person wants to do something on the stage with you. Would you do that? I'm I'm sure like when you're not sober, you would do it. <laughs> <laughs> when you're sober, you do that. <laughs> the only person who could do that is your mother. This mother stops the show of Michael Bublé and wants her son to sing with Michael Bublé, the song Feeling Good. And you could see the crowd uh, booing at her and shouting at her. And even Michael Bublé makes those sarcastic comments about her. But see what happens. Short clip. Except for you, crazy woman. Oh, no, OK, no shit. I'm not doing anything. Let's just talk. I mean, hell. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Really. Your, his, her son turned 15 a couple days ago. That's very sweet. He's hiding. He's hiding. So, so what happens now is she put herself in front of everybody. And what, what you're going to see next is history. I'm in the sky. Suck a sun! So that's, that's another testament to Mother's Love. She would do anything for her son to be up there. And now you can buy this kid's song on iTunes for Mother. Wow. He's, he's famous. And uh, to conclude, my friends, your mother is the only person who would stand against the whole world for you and defend you of whatever can happen to you. The whole world against your mother, she would be there for you. So what I want you to do is uh, go to your mother or someone who look, you look up as your mother and tell her how much you respect her and how much you thank her for making this happen because it's because of her you're here today. Thank you.